Now, y'all, this clown here that we call Carlos King, I'm telling you, that's why he burns so many bridges with people, not necessarily companies. I don't know anything about that, but with people, it's a lot of people that he's pissed off that he's no longer friends with because of how he moves. And it seems like He's going to burn the bridge between him and Melanie Cherie because he's just shady on just so many levels. The man is just shady. Um, it looks like he is, and no one has a problem with him supporting anyone or supporting anyone's brands or products or anything like that. But it's like how you support and, and going out and buying someone else's products and brands from another whole nother franchise whole nother reality show and you can't even show that kind of love and courtesy courtesy to um the lady that you're partnering with which is melanie sheree from love and marriage huntsville like you know i, I just don't get that and if it's not shade on his part it seems like it is you know unless he can explain or He'll elaborate on it, which he won't because, you know, you know, him and so many people think the melometers are this and that and all this and just negative when it's a, 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 a slew of different women, different age groups, different diff demographics, different cities, different towns, different ages, all that, you know, and, you know. Like Marcel said on, was it this last episode or the episode before last? Talking about the millimeters. Talking about they're a bunch of deplorables. What? You're a deplorable. Getting um, sued. Because you didn't do your job right. Because you don't know what you're doing. Your brother, your older brother, he a deplorable. Because he a stalker and a weirdo that that's who deplorable is but he's you know he's a hater so we can't expect too much different from marceau but uh back on carlos king yeah he you know he moves really really sideways real shady and you know he wanted this little video he wanted this little clip so you know we're talking about it because that's what he wanted and so here it is we're talking about it and yes he's moving shady and again, nobody got a problem with Yandy and her brand or anything like that. Hope she has nothing but success. And I believe she is having success from it because she is recently, um, you know, been put in Bloomingdale's. And I think she has her own standalone store um, for Yale in Atlanta. So she's doing great. Marvelous. No problem. But it's just it's just it's just the principle of it all, you know. And if he has bought anything from 7th Avenue or any of her stuff, he, he, you know, he didn't make a video about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you guys drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Listen to the clip. I do have a clip of it. You know, he's just he's nasty and he's dirty. It's just it's no other way to describe it. I'm sorry. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video. Subscribe. And until next time. Bye. I'm at Bloomingdale's in Atlanta. Y'all know I love all the girls, but this one is who I really, really love, Yandy. And I'm here supporting. I purchased. He pulled up, baby. He I pulled, pulled all the way up. He ain't got one bag. He got two bags. And each of those bags is a couple different things. How about that? I, I pulled up and pulled different. out the credit card, honey. This ain't no gifting, no free shit. I paid for it. Sure I'm proud of her. We got the candles. Uh -huh. She has candles. She has men skincare line. <laughs> See? They got receipts. And they got the receipts. They got the receipts, honey. But listen, candles. And she has men skincare, aftershave, all of that. All natural, plant based. Mm -hmm. Come on over to Bloomingdale's and get you a little something, okay? And baby, Come this is a gag. Over. Two wigs. Yes! <laughs> Support yellow.